people, it is me, Porky2007, and so welcome back to another Cars Diecast review. So, um, I went on a road trip, then I stopped at Walmart, then go to the Cars aisle, and let's just say, they have Case E. A case full of cars that I actually want. And today I'm going to review those cars. So yeah, we have the following. Lizzie, Fillmore, Richard Mixon. Rich Mixon, I mean. Um, Cave Lenny McQueen. May Pillar Derev. Lenny McQueen, Deputy Hazard. And finally, Rusty Zynaco Cruz Ramirez. Very clunky name, but hey, let's stick with it. Anywho, let's, um, let's begin, I guess. Alrighty, so the first item that we're going to review is Lizzie. So yeah, we got Lizzie, all of its glory, and now let's see Meyer the packaging. So we got Lizzie herself, got the name, we got the Cars logo, the Radiator Springs background, then we got Metal, Metal, and Reedy Press. I don't know why I said that. So um, we got um, we got some cars that are available right now. Sarge, which I got recently. Lizzie, which well we obviously have. And Craig Candyman. Candyman. Did I said Craig? Greg. Greg Candyman. Candyman. Craig Candyman. Oh, I, and you. I really hope Greg Candyman's gets. Did I said man's? I hope he gets released someday. Like, like probably like after Case F, which is Case G, which I'm assuming, or I, I hope that's the case where um, where um, uh, what was it? Um, Cryptid Hunter Mater will come in too. Because I want both of those I cast. So yeah, let's open Lizzie up. So we got Lizzie. And wow, I didn't know I, I, I didn't thought she would have a matte finish. I actually like that. So we got Lizzie with her crazy face expression. They got her grill, her lights, her wheels her cab her extra wheel her spare wheel i mean a very nice car she's based on a she's based off of a ford model t and i really like the look of it it's all retro and nice and also we got her cap to put the water in got the wheels that look nice yeah i really like the matte finish of this die cast I really like that face expression. Looks like she's on a crack. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, um, that's it for Lizzie. There's really nothing to talk about. But, yeah, let's move on to our next diecast, which is Fillmore. Um, yeah, Fillmore. So, yeah, this is Fillmore. And for some reason, most of the cars diecast would not have that gray um that gray rectangle in the blister i don't know why they did this it's kind of weird looking but also where's the age oh yes the age thing is on top of the mattel logo i thought they would have put the metal right here but i guess not so yeah we got Fillmore. so let's look at the back so we have mater ramon sally dirt track mcqueen not dirt track, dirt track doc hudson or Dirt, dirt, dirt Track Hudson Hornet. There we have McQueen and the King. Just a bunch of legal charging, which we're not gonna, you know, focus on. So yeah, let's unbox Fillmore. Ah, shoot, I already, already. So yeah, here is Fillmore. A um a hippie a 1960s style Volkswagen bus. It was a hippie and probably high on something. Probably his organic fuel. So yeah, we got peace. We got road. We got some more hippie rainbow memorabilia. At the back has a buttload of logos. I think I see Flo's VA Cafe right there. Then um, what what else do I see? Yeah, I do not see. 
Yeah, I <laughs> I think that's the only one I can recognize. Everything else is all fuzzy because it's um you know Thailand printing. I could still see the Foes VA Cafe logo right there. So yeah, we got another road. Peace, rainbows, love, Grooney. I think that's what it says. I don't know. And then that face expression. Um, the eyes look like they're made in Vietnam, but also not really. Also just like a, like a paint chip. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in uh, Mattel's <laughs> So what is this this weird line? Can I remove it? Looks like hair, but can't remove it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in the quality control. Let's look at the other side. Made in Thailand, Mattel, Volkswagen, AG, because, well, you know, you gotta get the rights. You also gotta give credit to the people who uh, made the Volkswagen. Also forgot we also forgot to look at the underside of Lizzie. Yep, Lizzie Diecast, um, made in Thailand, Model T TM because well hey not everything is royalty free. So yeah that's it for Fillmore. Also for some reason also not for some reason, I mean I didn't know that he was missing his right mirror or yeah, his right mirror. So yeah, um that is it for um Fillmore. And just like Lizzie, um, nothing to talk about because, well, you already seen this character. So yeah, let's move on to our next character, which is Rich Mixon, aka Richard Mixon, which that's not his name, that's just what I call him. So yeah, we got Richard Mixon, I'm just gonna call him that for now, Richard Mixon. So yeah, we got Richard Mixon, the next gen, the next gen, next gen tank code racer. Let's look at the packaging. Got the racing background, or I mean, the seating at some kind of racetrack at, as the background. Now, let's look at the back as seen in Cars 3. So, yeah, we got the rest of the characters. We got, I think that's some um, Muddy Rusty's um, Train Center McQueen. Got Dirt Track Hudson Hornet. We got his competitor, which I forgot his name. We got Rich Richard Mixon, which is right here. You already have him then um we have um i forgot his name but he comes in a two-pack with a character that shares my um my real life name but instead of being spelled with you know k-a-i-l-o-e-b his name is spelled as you know every other caleb around the world c-a-l-e-b and we got fair game and another um um thunder hollow thunder hollow thunder hollow um racers so yeah, let's open up Richard Mixon. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm damaging these packaging. So yeah, let's take a look at Richard Mixon. Rich Mixon. Yeah, Rich. Rich. Which, okay, like what I said, let's call him Richard Mixon. So yeah, we got the Tank Code logo. Wait, does that say Tank Code? Sounds like it's saying Tank Coast. Yeah, I can't really um yeah it's thailand it's all fuzzy you can't really read anything got 36 on top we got 36 tc which stands for tank coat then we have the rest of his piston cup sponsors then we have the light your tires with those nice rims and at the back yeah it does say tank coat but the a is you know written different but it didn't say so right here because it's thailand and it's fuzzy so we got the back tail lights, 36, rookie stripes, TC, stands for tank coat, tank coat. Yeah, I really like the metallic look of this next gen. We got the exhaust pipes, which this time they're on misprints, unlike Tim Treadless, which I should have brought. Yeah, now let's look at the bottom, Mattel, the rest of the stuff, made in Thailand. So yeah, um, that is it for Richard Mixon. Now let's move on to some of the cars on the road characters, which probably most of you guys are here to, you know, look at. So yeah, our first cars on the road character is Cave Car Lightning McQueen. So yeah, we got Cave Car Lightning McQueen himself, or specifically Cave Lightning McQueen. We got artwork of him, artwork, artwork of him, new for 2023 because his item recently came out. Then we have the rest of the characters, which. I have everybody except him because he wasn't released yet, which we'll focus on that later. 
Now look, this one we're reviewing now. These two I'll review later. And these two I already got them. And plus I already did a review on that one. So yeah, we got Christi Crypti Cryptid Buster Mater himself, which I do, I do not have because he wasn't released yet. Hopefully he gets released after like um, Case F, or, which is Case G. Or wait, Case G is the case where it has the t which has the Cars 2 diecast. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. The next, um, after Case F is Case G, which is going to have some Cars 2 diecast. Yeah, I cannot wait for that, or specifically for Tokyo Mater. So yeah, probably Case, um, yeah, Case H, because, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, yeah. So yeah, let's open up Crypto Buster Mater. Not Crypto Buster, I meant Cave Lady McQueen. Oh my, oh my, ah uh, yes, I love the matte finish of, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Uh, I really like the matte finish of this because it literally looks like he's an actual rock. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this so much. I really like this meh expression, like, uh, 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 yeah, try to, yeah, yeah, you know, it's a caveman stereotype, you know, grunts like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, baby, give me tires, Guido. <laughs> and we got this big piece, which is supposed to be his forehead, because, you know, caveman, big forehead. <laughs> we got his exhaust pipes, which is made out of bamboo, I think. His spoiler is made out of sticks. Actually, that's not, actually, that's not bamboo. That, those are sticks. Then we have the wheels, which I really like, because it literally looks like a rock. I mean, he is basically just a rock. And I really like the detailing all around him. I really like that. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. This looks a lot better than um, the Tomika version because for some reason, not Tomika, Tomika, yeah, Tomika version because because that version just added skills to him for for some reason. I'm assuming that's. Because um, Disney just gave them concept art and they just made a diecast of it. But yeah, I really like I really like this diecast. <laughs> Look me, underside. <laughs> Never mind. So yeah, we got the. So yeah, we got. So yeah, let's look at the bottom. So we got um, made in Thailand, Mattel, Disney Pixar. Yeah, everything is made out of wood. Yeah, his exhaust pipes look like they're made out of st or maybe they're actually made out of bamboo. Yeah, everything is made out of sticks and wood. <laughs> I really like that. Look, and now it's um get out cave car mater from that one episode, not one. I meant this one is from the McDonald's um cars on the road Happy Meal toys. Man, only if we have a diecast of it, which that would have been cool. But I'm pretty sure we'll get them someday. I'll just zoom this out. So yeah, we got the two. We got the duo themselves. So yeah, Cave Car Mater. I just not Cave Car Mater. I meant Cave Car McQueen. I just love and I repeat, love the look of it because he literally looks like a rock because of the matte finish. I really like that. I really like the matte finish on McQueen. Cave Car McQueen specifically. So yeah, that is it. Well, actually, let's just take out Cave uh, Mater. I'm sorry, you have to go because we, because this is the real star of the show, not you, Cave Car McQueen, Cave Car Mater. So yeah, let's move on to our next Cars on the Road character, which is May Pillar Derev. So yeah, we got May Pillar Derev, the sister of K Pillar Derev, which. I have her right here. So yeah, new for 2023, obviously, because this is a new release. Then at the back, it's basically the same as Cave Car Lane McQueen. It's um back. Yeah, enough said. Let's just open it. Oh. So yeah, we got May Pillar to Rev. Very, very tiny. Like this is like small. Like, let's just look at her sister. 
yeah, yeah, um, that's kind of, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure about the size of this. So yeah, we got May Pillar to Rev. We got her mouth, which is, like, really wide open. She's like, roar, ah, like, screaming, yet smiling at the same time. We got her headlights. We got her purple eyes. We got this, this red tiger look. Or, I guess, yeah, tiger red look, because, you know, this one had a zebra look. This one almost has a tiger look. We got the wheels, we got the gas cap, we got these back parts, and we got the trunk. Yeah, I really like this one. Now let's look at the underside, which is, which is, well... Which is it's basically the same as every other die cast. These are our cars, Mattel, made in Thailand, the rest of the junk. <laughs> Alrighty. So yeah, let's compare her. Uh, not compare her, let's just show her to her sister, K Pillar Drevich. For some reason I think she's way too small. I really don't let's just put her on the ground and let's just see how it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad um when close when put together, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of small, kind of disproportionate. I wish she was, like, a little bigger. This is, like, that Fred thing again, where, like, you know, back in 2008, Fred was released as this gigantic, enormous, um, look that is very, um, inaccurate. Then, um, probably around the 2010s, they shrinked him to make them, you know, accurate, but Fred was just too small. And then now, recently, we got a re-release of Fred, which is... Now, almost a decent size, but May Pillar to Rev, yeah, I think she's way too small. It's the Fred thing again, but instead of being disproportionately bigger, she is disproportionately smaller. So, yeah, that is it for K Pillar to Rev, and it's nice to see her getting released, but then again, very, 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 um, very small. I think she's too small. So yeah, that is it for May Pillar Drev. A very nice car, but yet very um small. So yeah, let's review our next Cars on the Road character, or specifically a Cars on the Road character variant, which is Lightning McQueen Deputy Hazard. Which is which comes in that which appears in the NB movie that episode, yeah. So yeah, we got um Deputy Hazard McQueen himself. And we got new for 2023, got artwork of him. And at the back is basically the same as May Pillar Derev's back and Cave Karma Queen's back. Alright, enough said, let's open this baby up. Uh, uh, shoo, I'm breaking this. So yeah, we got, um... We got um, almost like Cape Car I meant, I meant um, Deputy Hazard, Lightning McQueen, or the other way around, Lightning McQueen, Deputy Hazard. So yeah, we got this face expression, which I believe this is from the mold from the from the from the variant, like like the Cars on the Road variant, which has a different face expression from from the original one. So yeah, we got the front, which front hood, I mean. Which has Deputy Hazard and a star. Got his police sirens. We got Deputy Deputy Hazard right there. His gas cap. And at the back, we have this black part. Tail lights. Also, the rims don't say light gear because I'm pretty sure these are just different wheels. And I really like the beige, light brownish look of the car. And if we look at the underside, we can see um, Made in Thailand, Mattel, Disney Pixar cars, and also those holes that you're supposed to put Mater's toe hook in. Yeah. So, that is it for um, Deputy Hazard, Lightning McQueen, or Lightning McQueen, Deputy Hazard, I mean. So, yeah, that is it for him. I really like this die cast. So, yeah, let's move on to our next Cars on the Road character, which is, and also our last one... Cruz Ramirez, or specifically 
Rusty's Dynaco Cruise for no reason at all because the name is clunky. I mean, when she was originally released, she was called, um, I think Dynaco Training Cruise or Training Cruise. I don't remember what it was. But for some reason, they just chose Rusty's Dynaco Cruise, which even though there, there's only Dynaco logos on her, not, you know, Rusty's logos on her. But we'll worry about that when we open the diecast. So yeah, we got the characters, which I have all of them. This one we are about to review right now. Enough said, let's open this one up. So yeah, we got Cruise or Rusty Zanico Cruise, which I really like the gold look of it. It looks very nice and shiny. For some reason, she doesn't have any sponsorship on her hood. But yet she still does that. Um, doesn't say so in the back either. Like I don't really see any of the sponsorships. The only mention of Dynaco is right here and this dinosaur which is brown. It blends in with the gold so you can't really see it. Got 51, 51. I guess some kind of car logo. We got it. We got her exhaust pipes, her rims with the Lightyear tires. And then we have her headlights. Then we have um, her eyes. Her 51. And her spoiler. Yeah, basically the same as any other cruise. Dynaco cruise. Rusty's cruise, I guess. I guess you can call that. Now let's look at the underside. Mattel, made in Thailand. Where's Disney Pixar? Yeah, Disney Pixar cars. Now look, I have... The, um, the Cars on the Road Happy Meal Toy of Her, which is the first piece of Cars on the Road merchandise that I have. That I had, I mean. So yeah, this one isn't gold, this one's yellow. This one is actually gold. Yeah, I really... I really like both, but I think this... I, I think I like this one more because this one... I mean, I mean, it's McDonald's Happy Meal Toys. They're not the best quality, but... But hey, the cars that I cast are always going to win out to these. So yeah, that is it for Dynaco Cruise. And now time for the, con the conclusion, I guess. So yeah, that is every review of the cars that I cast that I got. And what do I think of them? They are freaking awesome. I love them, okay? I really like these cars that I cast. Probably my favorite is... um is Cave Car Lightning McQueen because I just love the matte finish of it. It makes him look like an actual rock. Deputy Hazard Lightning McQueen because he looks cool. And I really like the beige coloring. Then Lizzie because, well, she's Lizzie. There's, there's nothing to hate about, she's Lizzie. So yeah, I really like these um, cards die casts. I mean, obviously I do. I, I, mean, I mean, what I say, I mean, what I meant to say is I really like these diecasts. This one be my absolute favorite from all of these. So yeah, even if this year sucks, like something bad happens, but hey, but hey, we can always say that this is gonna be a good year for the Cars diecast line because we are getting um a diverse lot of characters. I mean. That didn't, okay, what I, okay, what I just said didn't make any sense, didn't make any sense, but we're getting a lot of cars this year. We are getting Greg Candyman soon, along with Cryptid Buster Mater, Cryptid Buster McQueen, which I believe comes in the next case, Case F. And I think the same is true for, um, wait, no, 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 wait, no, 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 no. Road Rumbling McQueen, the actual diecast would come in, um, Case G, which is full of the Cars Tunes diecast, which by the way, the Cars tunes never really got any, you know, releases this year, but now they are. We are getting, um, we are getting, um, I think, um, Drift Party Mater, that cop, and, and a car that he tows to Tokyo, the, the blue one. I, I don't remember their names. We're also getting, um, Pit Stopasaurus. Good name, by the way. And also a few more clowns, such as this minivan clown and the VW clown. VW Bug Clown. Yeah, yeah, just a huge diverse of characters. Okay, we're getting a lot of characters this year, which 
which no matter how sucky this year is going to be, we obviously know that this is going to be a good year for the Cars Diecast. So yeah, while well, I wish I could say the outro, but let's cave. Let, let well, let's let's um cave Karma Queen say, you you press subscribe button, you press like button, you bring bell, and goodbye, people, and. Boulder. <laughs>